All right, coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Alir Latifi and Vulcan Uzdemir. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Vulcan, no time, who's to And now it's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Ilya, the Sledge Hammer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Latifi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Single follow tie now. And they set that. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Latifi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left hook there. Nice 
jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the sledgehammer, Alir Latifi. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. And he switches to southpaw. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Beautiful punch. Final seconds. Big double leg level change. And a very close one. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work here in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the pin. Oh, he lands another strike. Oh! Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Latifi. Nice stick with the right hand. Making all these shots count. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Latifi's got the full mount. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on bottom needs to stay patient. He cannot panic. He needs to find a way to get back to his back. Lay on his mat. He's got to get his back back to the mat. He has to get his back back to the mat. So then he can start to work on his defensive transition. You don't want a guy like this who's so good at controlling this position just on top of you and riding you. Take your time, but get back to your back and start to try to recover your half guard. Latifi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. And that's the end 
of round number two. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Ustami. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. She'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they set. Can't take many of those, you better check. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice stick with the right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. 75 total strikes have landed for Alir Latif. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Volkan Uzdemir. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the great ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy, lands that oh! kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of range with the big right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. than a minute into our third and final round. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely best. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys, and in the second round, you saw the other guy, good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and it's gonna be a question of will and determination, and that's gonna be who went to fight. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Okay, okay. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. The official decision is in. It resides with the response. We go to the judges' court cards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Volkan, no time, who's the pick? All right, so there it is. Two of the three judges saw it his way. He gets it done by split decision. You've never won a split decision. You're cool. Oh, I've won a split decision. Alexander Gustafson and why I went to a split decision. Right after the first scorecard was read in his way, I almost panicked because I was like, oh my goodness, it's over. So I understand exactly what these two guys are feeling when they went to the center of the octagon.